All right. Hey, what's up? Happy Friday. Happy November 6th. Happy we still don't know who our president is day. Although I hear someone's about to make an announcement sometime soon. Um, I wanted to read a little passage from my book, The Anti-Marketing Manifesto, How to Sell Without Being a Sellout. This is from page three. And this explains why I wrote this book. My goal for this book is not to create sweeping systemic change in the world or to delete all predatory marketing overnight. That's God's job. Rather, I want to help you change your world by showing you how to use the Anti-Marketing Manifesto to grow your business. I want to teach you how to motivate, educate, and inspire your perfect fit customers to choose better for themselves so they can live happier, healthier, more productive, more successful lives while giving predatory marketing the middle finger. This will be fun. Um, yeah, so I wrote this book not to change the world. I think anyone who tries to change the world is coming a little bit from hubris, from ego, because you can't actually change the world. And as we see, those who are trying to change the world are doing some damage in the process because it's just, it's not healthy. Um, it's, it's better to focus on changing your world. So that means using the anti-marketing manifesto to grow your business. That means um, motivating, educating, and inspiring your customers, your potential customers to work with you, to buy from you. And it means not being a predatory marketer. That's how you change your world. You can't change the world around you. Like, we're going through this election right now and we have people that are just completely split on two sides. Each side thinks the other side is wrong. Each side wants the other side to change. You can't change other people. You can't change the world. You can change your world. You can change your business. You can grow your business by using the anti-marketing manifesto. Furthermore, this book shows you, you don't have to do gross, questionable things to grow your business. You don't have to target anyone with stupid ads, which people hate, nor do you have to worship vanity metrics, kiss the ass of fake influencers on social media, or write in a stuffy corporate professional tone of voice because you think that's the way it should be done. All you have to do is write and speak as your true self in your real voice with pure motives and keep giving, serving, under promising and over delivering at the forefront of your mind, uh, your mind <laughs> in life and business, your results depend on your choices. You can choose to grow your business ethically, sustainably and in ways that you love, or you can choose to be a predatory marketer who will do anything to make a buck. Growing your business is your responsibility. No one else can do it for you. How you grow your business is your choice. I suggest growing it in a way that honors your true self gifts, passion, and purpose. Page three. That's from this book right here. So yeah, that's why I wrote the book. Um, this is very important to me, especially now that there's like this attack and assault on businesses, small businesses, especially. Um, I, I don't want people to think that they are helpless during this time. I don't want them to think that they have to be something or someone other than who they really are right now. So if you haven't already, get this book, read it, let me know your thoughts. And I really, I really think it will help people. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Bye.